Hi, Mike here. In this week's tutorial, we're addressing a common issue that many Excel users face. How to import the most recent file from a folder using Power Query. A client needed to import data from a CSV file into Excel. The CSV file was stored in a SharePoint folder. And this was a weekly task. It required updates to the query's source step every week because the CSV file name was different. And this repetitive task led to the question, can Power Query automatically use the most recent file in a SharePoint folder? The CSV files are located in a library called Demo Library in my SharePoint site. As you can see, there are some other files in this library too that are not CSV files. Now, as it stands right now, the most recent file is this one. I'm basing it on the modified date. I need the URL to the SharePoint site, not to the folder, but just to the site. So I'm going to click in the URL bar and I'm going to copy the URL that I need. I will use that in Excel in a minute. I'm going to minimize the browser and I'm going to go into Excel. And in Excel, I'll click on data, get data from file from SharePoint folder. Then I'll paste the URL in that I've just copied and click OK. Because I need to do some transformations on the data, I'll click Transform Data. And this opens up the query editor. The first thing I'll do is scroll across and apply a filter on the folder path column by clicking the drop down, unticking Select All, and only ticking Demo Library, which is the first one, and click OK. And what we're seeing now is all the files in that folder. I want to limit it to just the CSV files. So I'll click the filter drop down on the extension column and select only CSV and click OK. Then I'll sort the table into descending order on date modified. So I'll click the drop down arrow on date modified, choose sort descending, and now those three rows are sorted based on the date modified column with the most recent file at the top. I only want to keep the first row. So on the home tab, I'll click keep rows, keep top rows, type in a one and click OK. So now that we have the file that we want, but we don't have any data. To display the data from that file, scroll back to the left and click the double headed arrow in the content column and click OK. If I need to transform or clean the data, I can do it here. The one thing I am going to do is remove that column called source.name. And to do that on the Home tab, I'll click Choose Columns and I'll untick source.name and click OK. And then I'll close down the query editor by choosing File, Close and Load. And that will load this data into the spreadsheet. I've now moved back to SharePoint. Let's pretend that we've moved on a week and we have another CSV file, which I will upload into that folder. Just drag and drop it in. So now sales four becomes the most recent or newest file. So now I'll switch back to Excel and I want to update that table using the data from sales four, which now is the most recent file in that folder. So I'll click on data, refresh all. So that's it, it's done it. It's taken the data from the file called sales four and it's loaded it into here, replacing the data that was already there. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, have an excellent day.